This is either going to be a disaster or bargain of the century. Stay tuned to find out which. <laughs> Who knew that Primark had a curly hair range? Why did no one tell me this? I had no idea. I've got a few products to try out. Not all of these are curl specific, but one of them is. I was in Primark and I just glanced to the side in the beauty section and I just saw a bunch of these curl jellies staring at me. And I thought, huh? Since when? I couldn't ignore it. Obviously it was literally staring at me. So I had to buy it to test it for you guys because how cool, like if this works, it's four pounds that's pretty affordable oh no sorry it was two pounds i forgot i got it reduced maybe they're just trying to get rid of these this is a good indicator that not many people might be buying this so maybe loads of people have tried this and it's awful so no one's continued to buy it and no one's really speaking about it or maybe just people don't know about it because who goes into Primark looking for curl products? I don't think many people because I just wouldn't have thought that they'd have this. My first thought when I saw this was, are they trying to be a dupe for the Umberto Curl Jelly just because of the name Curl Jelly? So I thought before I actually use it, I might just smell it and look at the consistency to see if I think they are trying to dupe. Mm, I'm not the biggest fan of that smell. It says it's coconut honey fragranced. I'm not getting that vibe. It smells a bit chemically. Also, it's not very sticky. It's very watery. That could be a good thing because it could mean this is a great one to brush through. I've loved brushing gels through recently. Does that mean it's not gonna hold the curls very well if there's no grit? You know, that's sometimes what makes a gel so good. Obviously, we'll do a deep dive into the product when I'm styling let's smell the curl jelly okay oh, this smells amazing i love this compared it's a similar consistency when you put it straight onto your hands the curl jelly is definitely stickier that's interesting i just wanted to see if they were trying to be a dupe i don't think that's going to compare to curl jelly but I don't want to speak too soon, it might be amazing. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to pick up a few other things. So they had this hair styling cream, which isn't like curl specific, but a styling cream, right? It should be able to be used for curls. I'm thinking of trying this as a curl cream and then going in with this curl jelly. And then I saw, again, this one isn't specifically for curls, but it's a Stronghold hairspray. And this was £2.50. Oh, and the styling cream was £4. And then I saw some brushes. I saw this Denman dupe and thought, you know, this would be perfect to try. And then I saw this super smooth paddle brush with these really soft bristles. This could be so good for brush styling. So I'm going to see which one I prefer out of these. And then I saw this wide tooth comb. I love to separate my clumps. So I'm thinking this than this my expectations are pretty low so what am i expecting from this i want you know a decent result i'm not expecting my hair to last for days i would actually just be pleasantly surprised if my hair came out all right and it wasn't like overly stringy and we're going to experience this together and please let me know in the comments did you know primark had any curl products and have you tried these Okay, I've just wet my hair down and it was already clean. I actually did touch up my colour at home today on my own, which is why my hair is looking a bit dark. I'm all of a sudden feeling a little bit nervous about this. I don't know, just because this doesn't say like it's a curl cream. And what if it like straightens my hair out? Okay, so this is our first product. This was £4 and it's the hair styling cream. And there's no directions. Hair styling cream maintains smooth and conditioned hair with marula and argan oil. Marula? We're using this, I guess, as like a leave-in conditioner or styling cream. I'm going to start off so small just because I have no idea what this is going to be like. This smells a lot nicer than that curl jelly. It's like a medium consistency. Let's see. I should have taken the towel off first, probably. Let's put it on the lengths. Oh yeah, I also trimmed my hair myself at home and I didn't film it because I took the tiniest bit off. And then I went and saw Nikos, my hairdresser, the other day because I went with my friend to her curly hair appointment. And while I was there, he was like, do you want me to just really quickly dust the ends of your hair dry? And he just 
cut off a few ends, which was really kind of him. It took like two seconds, literally. I think I'm gonna do the same again. I feel like I have so much to catch you guys up on. I don't even know where to start, to be honest, but um, I've had a little time off YouTube. I think I just really needed a break, to be honest. I love filming for you guys. I love doing weekly videos, but I did need a break. I hadn't had a proper one this year. I had pretty much, other than like a few weeks, um, uploaded every single week. And because I'm doing this constantly as well on TikTok and um, Instagram, up filming content and uploading it, it can get a bit much after a while. I think I did touch on this in my last video. Um, which is fine, um, I just needed to take a little break, but I am back and I have so many fun video ideas for you guys, this being one of them. Okay, so we've put the curl cream in. Now we'll see the slip level, I'm guessing, when I brush it through. So I've got this brush. Again, this isn't necessarily like uh, marketed towards curly hair, but it's got a mirror on the back. A really cute brush, nice grippy handle and the bristles feel very soft. So I'm just going to, oh, I like this brush. I don't, is it a detangle brush? Oh yeah, it's a safer detangling your hair. Wow. I have already detangled my hair with conditioner in, in the shower. That is something to bear in mind. I really, really like this brush. And I think this is gonna be really nice for clumping. So now I need to rake my hair from my root and section my hair. I'm at this really annoying point with my nails where I really need to go and get them redone. This is this is all my real nail, it's gel, but does anyone get that where your hair gets stuck underneath? It's so annoying, like when I do this, I can't see that it's stuck. I'm actually getting them sorted this week, but I'm gonna actually use the comb, the wide tooth comb I bought to kind of rake my hair from the root. You need to rake your hair from the root because that helps you section. Nice, basic, wide tooth comb and you can hang it on the shower. This was £1.50, the comb, uh, and the, that pink brush is £3.50. Lift my hair up. I normally, as I said, do this with my hands, but my nails are really annoying. Okay, I've got my three sections and now we're going in with the curl jelly, which is two pounds or was reduced. I actually saw it was reduced to 350 and then two pounds. So it seems like they're trying to get rid of this. So that was too much, I think. Okay, this is the consistency. See, it looks very much like a jelly to start. And then as you smooth it out, it's just very watery, but we're gonna go with it. Let's see what happens. So, Oh, it's got a lot of slip. I'm not a fan of the smell. Actually, weirdly, I now can smell that coconut scent that it says it has. I couldn't smell it earlier. So I'm just raking that all the way through the section. This is what I normally do with my gels. And now I'm gonna take, what is it called? The super smooth paddle brush it's called. And I'm gonna clump with a bit of tension. Oh, I like this. I really do like this. It's a very wide brush, so you can get a whole big clump at once. And then obviously I don't really want big mega clumps, so I'll use the wide tooth comb in a minute. Okay, I really like this brush. I'm worried that I'm not gonna get enough hold with this gel because there's no squelch. There's no squelch at all. This isn't a gel, is it? This doesn't feel like a gel. Mm, I'm worried, okay. I'm gonna divide with a wide tooth comb. I'm thinking if there isn't enough hold with that curl jelly, I can try and create it with the hairspray I bought. So I've taken the next section down. I'm gonna go in with more of the jelly. You know how I was saying when I first opened the jelly that it's not very sticky? I think that is correlating with not feeling like I've got much hold. This does not feel like a gel for some reason. I do really like this brush though. So that is one win. It's clumping the hair really nicely and I like how you can do so much at once. And it's good at detangling so you can kind of brush the section through first. I wish Primark had a mousse or something. 
I feel like that would be a cool product for them to bring out. I did see that they had a whole bond repair range. Bond repair, I have not looked into it. I don't know if it's actually doing that. Um, I didn't buy it. I just don't like how they've blatantly copied other brands, but let me know if you've tried that. Anyway, two sections done. The clumps are cool, right? They look fine. Um, I'm just, as I said, concerned that this isn't gonna offer any hold at all. We've never had a mega fail, I don't think, on this channel, have we? Can't remember. This could be the first. Right, more of the jelly. It doesn't feel like a jelly. Oh, see how lightweight it is. Let's see if we can do this whole section at once. Oh, that was so satisfying. Keep my hand here and just go straight through with this comb. I feel like you'll get your hair done so quickly with this brush. More. I've used a lot of this product already. I'm gonna glaze this all over. I'm gonna section in diagonals. I do like this comb actually as well. And brush. And I'm basically going to brush all of this hair back in sections. Give it a little bit of volume there. Okay. I wish this was live because I kind of want to ask you what you think I should do. Do I add in a little bit more of this in the hope that it gives me a bit more hold? Because I feel like there's none. Um, or do I just start diffusing? Because I've already used a lot of the product. <gasps> This has got castor oil in it, really high up. I wonder if this is really gonna weigh my hair down. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not gonna add any more in. We're gonna go ahead and start diffusing this, I think. And then we'll see what we're left with. And then at the end, I might go in with a bit of... Oh, I just remembered. We didn't use this. Should I just use this on one section for you? Okay. What I was about to say was we'll finish with the hairspray and then I got distracted. I completely forgot about this one, okay. I really like the colors actually. This just honestly feels like the Denman. It feels very hard. Should I just take a bit down here? I would do the same tension. Oh, sprung up really nicely. Yeah, I mean, this is very similar to the Denman. I'll see if I have the Denman. This is the Denman, and this is the seven. This is a seven row, and this is a nine row from Primark. And I mean, they're very similar designs. It felt very smooth, no friction or anything. I do like with this how you can rotate the Denman. Well, this isn't the Denman. How you can rotate this style of brush and you can see the hair really springs up. So yeah, I mean, based on those two sections and just looking at the brush, I approve. Also, these are very easy to clean because you can take this out. Can you take this one out? Yes, you can take that out as well. I wouldn't use that as a detangling brush though, um, just because it's very hard and they're not flexible enough. I would probably just use that for styling. I'm like 30% into diffusing and I'm starting to notice frizz. And I never ever normally notice frizz at this stage unless something's gone wrong. Um, I've not used enough gel and normally I'll go back in with a gel. But considering how much of that jelly I've already used on each section, like I feel like I've really gotten into this product. This is the first time using it. I don't wanna add more because it, it's just concluding to me that this isn't really acting how I'm expecting a gel to act based on all of the gels I've tried which is so many I can't even count this is really quite confusing do you know why it's confusing is because it's called a curl scrunching jelly but then the description is defines as shine nourishing coconut oil and protecting uv filters this kind of feels more like a nourishing source of heat protectant it doesn't mention anything about hold it's not providing any type of sculpting ability am i just getting confused with terms here was i expecting too much from this i mean it doesn't look terrible and we're only 30 percent in but i just wanted to give you that update as i said normally by now i would start adding a bit more gel if i was experiencing this so early into diffusing but i don't want to do that because i feel like I'm just gonna weigh my hair down because this isn't really acting like a gel for me. I think what I'm gonna do is air dry it for a little bit and see if that limits the frizz. And I might just put a satin scarf around my neck. Anyway, wish me luck and I will be back in however long this takes to dry to be honest. So, could be a few hours. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go and change my name from Sophie Marie to Sophie Jumping to Conclusion Marie because that's exactly what I've done. My hair looks pretty good. I've let my hair air dry. All the products you saw me put in were the ones that are in. I'm really, really impressed, but I am wondering whether it's the result of the brush. I honestly think that has really helped my hair spring up like this. Look at these defined ringlets. They're all separated as well using the comb. Um, by the way, I'm really sorry about the lighting, but it is several hours later and it is now the evening and it's dark out. And this is as much as I can light up the room in this moment. We have a lot of volume and my hair has clumped up so nicely. I am noticing a bit of frizz in parts. Like I'm noticing the ends are a tiny bit frizzy. So maybe I should have gone in with a bit more of that jelly at the end. You know how I was saying, I don't wanna now weigh my hair down. I should have gone in with that final scrunch and maybe I wouldn't have this frizz right at the bottom. I have a tiny bit of frizz around this area as well. This really didn't give me any kind of characteristics of the gel that I'm used to in the styling process. There was no squelch. Um, it kind of just felt like I was putting some sort of oil in my hair. It didn't feel really oily, but it was just so lightweight. I had a bit of frizz in the diffusing process, but after leaving it to air dry, it's just dried really nice and soft. It's not overly fragranced. I had the tiniest bit of crunch to scrunch out. So I just did that a minute ago. I just went like this and that was it really. Um, there was a few curls that I unclumped just around the front. These two, I think, were the ones that were together. Everything's looking to find, except from some curls right at the bottom, there's a little bit of frizz. Would I compare it to the Umberto Giannini scrunching jelly? No, they're not similar in my eyes. They have the same name, application, and the smell, the consistency are quite different. Um, this does give me a lot more hold. This, I'd say, is a light to medium hold, but for some reason, my hair has really liked it. The other thing I just wanna remind you of is my hair is in a healthy state right now. I've had a trim. I've freshly colored my hair today, so maybe that's helping to add a bit of shine. There are other factors to why my hair might be looking good right now, other than just those products. But if the products didn't work at all, then my hair would look a mess. Like, it's happened before, trust me. I test a lot of products. So yeah, I think I did jump to conclusions a bit, and it was a weird styling process. I wasn't expecting, um, I was expecting something a little bit different, I guess. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know. And have you tried this before? I would love to know. It's so much fun trying things out for the first time on camera. You're just getting my raw reactions to things. And it just goes to show that you never really know. I didn't have great expectations and I don't know why because I really love how this came out. I don't know, honestly, if it's gonna become a new staple because there's so many products that I use consistently that are amazing and they give me results every single time. But I would definitely recommend this as an affordable product if you're on a budget and you want to try out some new gels, some new creams, some new tools, then I do recommend these products. Please let me know in the comments what you want me to try next. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more curl content from me. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.